To do now, Donald Trump, who is in Manchester, New Hampshire. Earlier today, Hillary Clinton did use words she has not used before. To me, radical jihadism, radical Islamism, I think they mean the same thing. I'm happy to say either, but that's not the point. All this talk and, you know, demagoguery and, uh, you know, rhetoric is not going to solve the problem. And your reaction? Well, first of all, she didn't use the words. She said she'd say the words, but she didn't say the words. And second of all, it's radical Islamic terrorism. She's trying to soften it up. And she's doing that because she's afraid of President Obama, who has got a lot of power over her future, frankly, could put her in but jail. But she did say radical if Islamic she, terrorism if she was, under was the responsible. Same. She did say that. And that, that's she, a departure from her. She didn't use the term. She did. She used radical. She used radical Islamicism. She All didn't right, use well. radical Islamic terrorism. No, but there's a difference. And she didn't say it. She said she would use it. And, and Bill, the only reason she did that is because I've been going after You've her. You've been saying pounding her. There's it. no doubt about it. There's no doubt I about mean, it. I mean, if now. I didn't do that, she would have never. Bill, if I didn't do that, she would have never said those words. Well, I don't know that. I mean, but you're much better at, at that Kreskin mind reading thing I than do. I am. But <laughs> I don't um, want the credit. I don't want the credit. All right. I just now, said you if I didn't pound her on that okay. she would not have said you it. hammered the secretary today in your speech for basically saying look you're you mrs clinton are not protecting gays because your soft approach to islam in general or islamic fundamentalism in general um discounts the fact that most muslims perhaps most sharia law certainly have disdain toward homosexuals so you really hammered her on that was that fair I think it's fair, 100% fair. I'm far better for the gay community than she is. She talks a lot about it, and yet she'll allow people in that want to kill people from the community, from that community. And I think it's terrible. The same thing with women. They want to make women slaves, okay? They want to make women slaves. That's what they do. And yet she's fine with, you know, the women say, oh, isn't she wonderful? She's not wonderful for women. She wants people coming in. She wants a 500% increase in people coming in from Syria that are radical Islamists, okay? But they wait, are wait, 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 in wait, wait, many wait. cases. She wants to take in humanitarian, humanitarian uh, under the humanitarian banner, as President Obama does, and the Democratic Party does, the entire party. They want to take people. And we should build the bill. Okay, bill. wait, 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 just let me ask the question. But she, but she would refute very vehemently that she would ever allow any radical Muslim in here. She would never do that. So is it fair for you right. to accuse her of doing that? Of course, because she doesn't know who's coming in. There's no paperwork. There's no documentation. Sure, they think everyone's going to be beautiful. These people, they'll tell everybody how wonderful they are. And they'll come in, and then they'll blow up a, a club like they blew up over the weekend. Or they'll do something else. Bill, I mean, she's allowing these people to come in. A 500% increase she wants. And they hate women, or certainly they want women to be their slaves. Yeah, but that's openly radical. Said. They, they want, want to kill gays. gays. You're conflating both Excuse radicals me, and refugees. All right, let me ask you this question. You know, you know. Bill. We've discussed this. You know there are good, loyal Muslim Americans who love this True. country, have died for this country. True. Do you believe True. that many is, friends. Do you believe that there is a danger now that because of your hot rhetoric about the top, and I agree with some of what you're saying, okay? You've got to vet these people from overseas. You just can't let them waltz in. I agree. But do you see that you could be contributing to a demonization of all Muslims in general? Is that possible? No, just the opposite. I really believe it's just the opposite. Uh, I have many friends, you know that. I've said it before. I have many friends who are Muslim. I get calls from many people thanking me who are Muslim, thanking me. I have some incredible friends, some wonderful friends. Some are very successful, some aren't. But I have many Muslim friends, and they're thanking me, many of them, not all of them, but many of them. The fact is she's allowing massive numbers of people to come in, and they're not all radicalized, and they're not all terrorists. But there, it doesn't take many, Bill. If you take a look, this is one young man that did this damage. Fifty people killed and probably a lot more to follow. They're very, very gravely injured in hospitals right now. They're wounded so badly. So this is one man. 
So it doesn't take very many, but we have many, in my opinion, you have many coming in, and they're smart and they're cunning, and they know how to get through the system. And by the way, they've stolen our passport machines, so they make passports better than we make passports. We don't know who's coming in, and frankly, our president doesn't know what the hell he's doing. One last question. Do you believe Muslim Americans fear you a little bit? I hope not. I, I want to straighten things out. But it's so important that they, and they're tremendous people, it's so important that when they see trouble going on, like they did in San Bernardino, I mean, there were numerous people that saw bombs all over this apartment floor. They knew something was going on. They never reported him or her. They never reported him that 14 people were killed, many, many people injured. Same thing here. You're going to find out with this savage that did this horrible thing over the weekend that many people said, oh, I knew that was going to happen. They've got to report him because the Muslims are the ones that see what's going on. The Muslims are the ones that have to report him. And if they don't report him, then there have to be consequences to them. All right, Mr. Trump, as always, we thank you for making the time on a busy day.